Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic and a different style format of video what I've done for the last six days is to actually record uh, what I've been up to each day up here in Vietic <laughs> So the idea with this video is to um, show you what I've actually got done over the week. Um, so the first video I think is actually Saturday, then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then today, Friday. You'll see for Saturday. I want to be editing it on Saturday morning. So that's why I'm filming for introduction now. Then uh, to tomorrow for you, which will be Sunday at uh, half seven, I'm going to have a live stream finishing off the set on Carlisle station. And then uh, Monday we got to another 360 video of train spotting. So uh, that's what's going on this week. So now to pass Richard. So today's Sunday and you can't actually see what I can see. Just next to me here is my platform. I got three problems. Let me move you around so we can talk about them. Yep, so this is for platform. First of all, it's too long to fit on any nice surface so it's sticking out in the air. Second of all, the lights are glued in but they're a bit floppy. Third of all, it still needs a lot of work done to it. So, this light I have re glued in because I knocked it out by mistake when I was test fitting it. And there's a light missing down there on purpose because that where about first stairs to the bridge will be. So what I've got is some balsa wood. What I'm going to do is cut it and fit it in between the platform just to give it some support. Then I have ordered some other balsa wood which I'm going to which are largest blocks which I'm going to glue where about the platform go, go just to hold it in place so that when I push the platform down it will sit in place. Then I'm going to be wiring all the lights on. So I've got this job to do. All these lights will be running at 3 volts. Somewhere I have a converter to convert it from 12 volts to 3 volts, that's a butt boost converter. So that will make my life easier with all the LEDs. Um, so I then got the smart screens to put on that tent and this side. What I'm going to do is have uh, the smart screen on the platform, so there will be one there and then one the same on the other end so that the platform one is at this end, actually that platform two, platform three, and so on. So platforms, where about you are is platform one. Then you've got platform two and three here. Then you've got platform four, so that's for main lines. Then you've got platform five, which is for the surf line, which won't have any smart screens. Then you've got platform six and seven, which is on the top line, which will have smart screens. To access uh, the platform over there, there's going to be a staircase down to a walkway which run underneath the layout, which doesn't really exist, but in the modern railway world it does. And uh, that's how people will be getting to it. Uh, there, on platform two and three and four and five, we're going to have a staircase down for the bridge. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. So what I'm going to get done tonight is measure up 
the balsa wood. I'm going to use it in that orientation so it will mean two cuts. Uh, and glue it in. I won't show you that being done. Uh, gluing it in will most probably be done tomorrow. But um, this will then be glued in behind each light just to give the platform more stability and the lights more stability. So I'll chat to you for next time I'm doing something interesting up here. So today's Monday the 6th of April and I've got a few bits done. Just over there we have a platform. Underneath it I got these blocks glued so for now supporting for the street lights. I've also started to prep to power for actually for platform lights. I got this nice little gizmo which is a buck boost converter. I'm having 12 volts DC coming in here and then just under 3 volts DC coming out of here. This is then used to power the lights and I made this cable which will start at the first light, go into the end light and then come out underneath the railway. So the jobs I need to get done is to just wire these on. What I am going to need to do is just cut into the um, sleeving to get the soldering done. And then I have a lit platform. I do have some bits on order from Colonel Model Railway Centre. Um, I got some more balsa wood so that this can just push into position and then it stay where it meant to be. Uh, I've ordered some more uh, scattered glue for the static grass. Uh, did I bring it up? I also found my big thing of grass so I can put some of this down as well over there just to try to give it some more texture. And um, a nice little model to go just there. Can we actually see from platform? Yeah. Uh, the platform's just there now, you can't see the platform from my position. But just here we're going to have a bus stop. I should have a piece for that somewhere. Which will be using this piece. That will be placed about there-ish. Actually more like there-ish. I'll just need a little wibble piece to actually get that in the correct position. Then just there by the support, there's going to be, where is it? My Rapido bus. Then it will look like the bus coming to drop people off, then go out again. So that should be a nice little scene. Then we have a station building for the other side of that. One little mistake I did make is that's too long. I'd leave this last night and it just didn't work. But while I've got you here, I'll just take you over and show you the platform. As you can see, we've now got the lights up. Then underneath we've got these wires which just need to be wired together. I think that that's going to be tomorrow's job. Then I need to put down a purple and brown wire along the thing for the smart screens and then I can put it into position. So I'm getting a lot done. Also I've been playing with a retaining wall. You can now see that there's support underneath it. So I get some stuff done and hopefully I get a lot more done. So see you for my next update. So today's Tuesday. It's about half seven quarter to eight um, my first time up into the exit today and this is the platform at the moment I've noticed that this side like to stick up so I need to come up with a solution for that over there it's actually looking quite nice got a bit of tidy in there and I need to think about the walls just over there. 
So, yeah, just thinking of what jobs to get done today. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get much done. I might just have to play with the trains. But I could do something in between those tracks, as that's always been left clear. I could get my soldering done. I've got some wires I need to run as well, so that could be quite an easy job to get done. Yeah, I think I might just start running some wires, as I need wires for, what do I need wires for? 12 volts for these two. That's going to run for station. And this is for another project. It's 12 volts in. Oh, that's, that's, that's what I already showed you. This is for another project. It's any voltage in and USB powered out. So this is going to be used to power some Raspberry Pis around the system, the layout. Uh, I got this one with the screen, so it could be quite interesting to send messages to it. And then I've got one just down there with the full screen, which will be repeating what's on for ECOS. So, quite a few things I can get done. I, I always get, get a bit confused with what to get done at times. Uh, but the station area just over here. So we're going to have a bus coming into that. If I have this at that kind of position, I can then have a bus there. And I should get to pass in a few days time with something nice there. And as the weather's nice, we've been chatting about the Garden Railway as we took everything up at the end of last season and this year we're going to attach stuff properly. So I've still got some decoders I need to move about. But yeah, we're getting stuff planned and just seeing how everything goes. So I think I'll just chat to you tomorrow and to and tell you what I got done and show you what I got done so I'll chat to you tomorrow so today's Wednesday the 8th of April and I did get a few bits done last night let me just turn you around I painted behind between the lines along there just up to the end of the station and so that was the first bit I did and then the second bit I did was actually prep this wire ready for um, soldering. You'll see that there are some cuts in for a wire so that I can solder the wires to it. So I got a bit done. I'm not expecting to get too much done today. I'm just going to get this lot soldered and then I'll be able to give you a peek of it uh, lit up. But tonight I got my live stream. Hopefully I'll finish for Seto and Carlisle station buildings, but I don't know. Uh, so when I get onto soldering, I'll grab you and show you me soldering. So I have wired up, soldered up the power lead. So connection there, block there gap as I don't have any lights there, Block, light there, light there, light there, then this go down into the uh, underneath of the layout. So the next thing I need to do is turn the board over and just solder it all on to there. So the next time you'll see this will be never. Next time I'll show you the consequences of this will be for next scene for you once I've got this lit up so I'll see you in a minute so I've got these wired in now 
That one there I'd like to fall over, but to put some more glue on it to hold it down. And they do light up. So this is me up here for today. As I got for a stream in a few hours time, so tomorrow I'll do some more work to the railway. So today's Thursday. Originally, before the evil stuff happened, we were due to be up in uh, up north to, as I was going to be filming for York show today. But yeah, should have gone up today, filmed it on Saturday. But as we all know, the shows have been cancelled. But that's a platform with a, a lamp post just about standing up straight. And this is another little project I've done. This is to go just at the end there. And that's then going to go that way round with a platform coming off there for along here. Jobs I've still got left to do with a platform is to draw a hole for the wires to go through and work out how to attach the smart screens. Um... One thing from all the work I've been doing up here, I've created an absolute pigsty up here. So I'll be needing to tidy it up. Also, tomorrow will be the last day of the blog as I'm going to edit it on a Saturday morning. So um, that's going to be... I decided to work that way because I did. Also, I want to keep up with some different editing software. So we get in there. As you can see, that's looking so much better with the paint down. That platform will be down tomorrow. I recorded an unboxing of the bits I bought, but I uh, forgot to turn on the mic. Let me just turn you around so that you can see me. So if I put you just over there, you try to flatten you off, that's better. Yikes! And that's how to kill a camera. So... I'm going to give a shout out to one of my favourite retailers as they'll be struggling at the moment. Uh, Green Seen It, let me just double check that that's how they're called. Green Scenes. Uh, let me just check. Just get him for our page up. Yeah, Green Scenes. There'll be a link down at the bottom. Lovely couple. I always check them at the shows. Um, so they do all the scene materials you need. They do the Batman um, Woodland Scenic um, Static Grass. They do their own grass uh, static grass machine, which you have seen me using all over the place. They do a nice selection of sketch material. They do for concrete paint. They're a really nice couple. So I'll say if you're looking for any scenic stuff, please go into their website. It, it should be down for bottom here again. Uh, I always check them at all for shows. And that's how I find out about some of the shows that's going on. So I'm giving them a shout out. Uh, so tomorrow's going to be for the last video of this week, like I said, so, um, I plan to have that installed tomorrow and that positioned. So I'll chat to you later. And so see you in the next scene, which for me will be tomorrow.
So today's Friday, the last day of this video, as I want to do for editing in the morning tomorrow. Uh, so I have time to sort out mistakes. But what I've got done today is this watch of wires is running free. We got 12 volts. We then have 12 volts for the car control system and then for communication bus for the car system. Over there it's actually looking pretty good. And we now got the station in place, but you can see it's bananaing there. So what I have to do is cut it so that it can straighten itself out. So I'm pleased with what I've got done this week. Also over here we've got the bus which I've been going on about to go in for bus stop just there. So that will be quite nice. And the attic is a bit more tidier today, so I'm glad with what I got done today. So now let's go to um, me doing for ending. So see you in a moment. I hope you enjoyed this different format video. And I hope you have managed to uh, get stuff done on your railway as well. Um, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think of this video, please, in the comments. And remember to like, uh, comment, uh, and share, and to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you tomorrow for my live stream. Thank you very much, Richard.